The frenum, when you're referring to a genital piercing, is just the skin on the underside of the penis. And when you get multiple of these piercings, it's called a Jacob's Ladder, which confuses me because I thought that was the Jacob's Ladder. I had mine pierced many years ago and convinced a friend of mine to get his done. He had complained all day long of the pain from that piercing. Come the end of the day, he checked his boxers and a string had wrapped around the barbell and pulled every step. So if something really hurts, check it out. As far as the placement goes, if you take a look at the picture right here, you can see it's horizontal to the shaft of the penis. You're gonna to wanna to use a straight barbell. I pierced it at a minimum of a 10 gauge because anything thinner is gonna do that cheese cutter effect. Now here we're starting off with one, you can have one, two, maybe even up to a dozen if you have the room. Now as far as the jewelry options go, Keep it really simple, just a straight barbell. Don't add any gems, prong settings. It's gonna get really, really uncomfortable. If you wanna add fancier stuff, add it once it's all healed up. Now this piercing is a really, really fast healer as well. And the reason being is you're just barely going through any thin skin. You're not going through any thicker tissue. One of the main reasons people have a problem healing this up is because of sexual activity and erections during the night. Once you're not erect, you're gonna have little crusties on the side of your piercing, and once you get erect, everything's gonna stretch out, they get pulled inside. It is really uncomfortable, so one thing I suggest to people is go to sleep with a cup of ice water next to your bed, so if you wake up with that soreness, that will shrink you up and soften those crusties so you can wipe them right off. That was a lifesaver. Now, as far as other problems, people lose their beads. The beads can come unthreaded, so I need you to check them every single day and make sure they're extremely tight. Just check it with clean hands. Oh, and make sure your boxers or underwear don't have any loose strings or get caught on your jewelry. I had three of them done once on my lunch break, and uh, I'll tell you about it after we take a look at the painometer. As far as genital piercings go, it's simple. It's not very painful. And like I said, I had three done on my lunch break and I went right back to work without any issues. It's not very painful and they're pretty easy. It's all in your head. A little bit down there too. As far as a first genital piercing, this is probably the way to go. It's not very painful, really, really easy to heal as long as you're not sexually active too soon. And I've had several. I've retired them and they've left some pretty interesting scars, but I'll leave that for another video. Since there are so many genital piercings, what do you want me to talk about next? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you learned anything here, enjoyed this, give me a like, subscribe, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. See y'all in the next video.